What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, we're making another Rage Challenge video today and I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying, oh, Real Deal, you've quit the game. And I've sort of turned around and said, yeah, yeah, I have quit. And it's really, really difficult. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, I love Rage Trial Legends, but I've sort of fallen out of, fallen out of love with it. Um, I've got a lot of issues and there's a lot of things that are bugging me. And I kind of want to get that off my chest. Um, and it and it is difficult. Like I could easily quit raid tomorrow. Sort of. I say that. I say that loosely because they've sort of got me by the balls. You know, I've sunk four years of my life into this game, and I just it's just so hard to let go. You know, four years of your life, and I just I just I'm struggling to let go. So I want to sort of get some things off my chest, and then and then talk about my comeback. Real deal is making a comeback. So first of all, yeah, let's talk about some of the issues that I've got with the game right now. And even though I say that I've quit and I'm sort of playing the game casually, I am sinking like three hours a day into this game. It is beyond a joke, the amount of things you need to do. Curse City, Doom Tower, Hydra, and like a lot of this content I don't enjoy. Like Hydra, I'm not a fan. Um, like I know some people love Clan Boss and they love Hydra. And that's great. You know, that's great that there's people that love that content. For me, I hate it. It's just something that I have to do so that I can do the things I want to enjoy in the game. Uh, then we've got Iron, you know, Iron Twins as well. And then, of course, we've got all this arena that we need to do as well. And Live Arena, like, I love Live Arena, but I can't do it. Like, it, it just like, you know, I've got a life. And for me, Basically, either I could do a live arena right now, but the choices are either I do live arena or I make content and I want to make content. So content gets prior over that. Then I've got like a family. I've got a job. So I can't do live arena. I really wish they would just get rid of this time, like this time frame that we can do it. I'd rather queue for two, five minutes than not being able to do it all. And, you know, this might be an unpopular opinion, but Wukong, Armands, I hate them. They have made Live Arena so stale. They are literally in every single fight. They are broken as, you know, as anything. They are so broken and they've just made it so stale. Um, I like pre Wukong, Live Arena was so fun. There was so much variety. You really had to think about what you're doing. And now I just look at it and I'm like, I just have no, yeah, I guess it's the, the time and I've got no interest in it anymore. I mean, I'm still, I'm still doing Tag Arena, but even that's pretty time consuming as well. And then what is probably my biggest issue is probably comes down to, to champions. So if we look at um, voids, come to the mercy system and voids, 200 summons without a legendary. So regardless if you're free to play or a spender, every single player in the game, end game, is going to get 400, roughly 400 Void Shards a year. And that means we're getting like two to three legendaries a year, Void legendaries a year. I just think that's, it just doesn't add up. You know, that's not a lot. And then if we look at Primals, we are getting 200 without a Mythical and yeah so so far i've got about 60 so uh, i think it's over about six months so i reckon over a year we're probably getting about you know 100 to 120 primal shards as end game and that means we are getting one mythical champion every two years how how do you even think that's acceptable that that just is beyond that is, i just I don't know what they're thinking. It's just, it's painful. I don't know how you expect people to play your game if you're not even going to give them anything. And like, yeah, we may get Lady Miyaki and uh, is it Carnage from Cursey? But they are going to be os obsolete, obsolete. By the time you get them, they are going to be obsolete. Oh, obs elite. They, it's the same with like, you know, Lydia. No one uses Lydia in Arena anymore. When she first came out, she was like God tier. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, she's still a great champion for PvE. But yeah, she has just been power crept and she's, you know, I would, I could, there's very few situations you'd use her in arena. Um, yeah, so it just doesn't make sense. By the time we get these champions, you know, as free to play, they're not usable. And there's always been a gap between free to play and spenders, but the gap now is just redonkulous. It really is. And I, I don't know, it's like a real slap in the place. How do you expect people to play your game if you're not willing to give them anything? So I feel that we should be able to get maybe two mythicals a year. I think everyone should be able to pull two mythicals a year and legendaries, they need to bump that up from like two to three to like 10 to 12. Either give us, you know, three times the amount of shards, maybe even four, or you need to drop Mercy down to like 100. Maybe, yeah, down to 100. I think that would be acceptable. Anything less is just... It's not on. It's just not right. And then awakenings. Awake awakening. Like as much I actually do enjoy pulling soul stones, but it is just so hard to actually get heroes up to scratch. So Leores is the only um champion that I've actually like invested in properly. Hipfrak, I pulled him. Danang, I pulled him. Elagias I pulled, uh, Gamoran I pulled, Tormund I pulled, so Tormund's decent, um, but they're not like maxed out, and with Wukong and Harima, Harima I won that event or tournament, and then Wukong, you know, they just gave us the souls, whatever, and the same with Ulma oh, Death Knight, they gave us those, um, those like awakenings, but it's still, it's a joke, like, how long it is just insane like how long it takes to fully build up a, a champion like i was gonna say like classic wow vanilla van vanilla wow vanilla raid like back in the day classic raid all i had to do was get you know first of all we'd pull our champion then we'd put books into them then we'd get gear then we'd do minotaur minotaur and that's it we're done we're done now i've got to get the gear and like it's hard like there's so many champions now i need so many champions to do like all the content we have to get the gear first of all which is like a difficult enough as it is so we get the gear then we need to awaken the gear then we need to awaken our champion like for them to really be like useful they need to, you know they do need to be awakened and you're looking like 6 months now like to fully like like wait awaken our champions like to make them like really usable in arena i mean maybe some people will disagree with that but that's how i feel like if i really want to use a champion in raid at the top like top end level of the game they need to i need to do all those steps and it's just like oh it's just it's too much it's just too much anyway we've been quite negative now i want to try and be like more positive you know i'm a positive person in real life uh, that's enough being real let's let's talk about the comeback so what i want to do now is sort of reach out to you guys a little bit get some help from the community because like i said i want to make guides and champions and it's one of the things i enjoy the most and it's so difficult to make guides when like i said like to to make a champion and stuff i'm it's like such a long turnaround and yeah it is it is what it is so um like anyone that's got an account they want to share like i want to do um, you know, like borrow accounts, showcase them sort of so we can look at the best champions in the game with like, like fully built and stuff. So I can share that with you guys. So you know, know how to build them out. Uh, I want to start doing like tier videos again. I really enjoy like making a tier list. Um, what else? Like, obviously shard pools. There's like an obvious one. Uh, but yeah, just want to make content again, like really fun, enjoyable content. And yeah, I'm sort of losing my train of thought. Just, sorry guys, I'm just going to take a minute to uh, gather my thoughts again. Yeah, and yeah, I just want to make like funny videos as well. So I'm aiming to like make maybe two videos a week. Um, You know, like I said, I've got a lot going on in real life. I can only film like really one hour a day and it's a lot. You know, you've got to film the video, you've got to edit it, you've got to make a thumbnail, you've got to add tags, you've got to do a description, all that stuff. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. So 
Um, yeah, I want to do that. Also, I'm playing Eternal Evolution at the same time. Really enjoying that game as well. So if you want to check that out, you know, obviously just check on the channel. It's a really fun game, very similar to Raid. Um, there are a lot of things that are, there's things better in Raid, there's things better in Eternal Evolution. But one of the things I really like about Eternal Evolution is there's no gear restrictions. You can literally have the freedom just to move gear around and stuff. And it is really fun to play. But um, yeah, so that's what I want to do. And I hope you guys stick around and sort of, you know, get back on that, um, back on the horse. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, feeling positive. Hope you guys are going to stick around. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make too sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a Ray Show Legends video soon. Peace.